Ernesto has strengthened into a hurricane and is now slamming Puerto Rico with heavy rain. Here's some of the latest video into the newsroom showing just how intense the flooding has become. Channel 3's Aaliyah Red is joining us live in Hartford with more on the storm's impacts and how community leaders are gearing up to help. I know we have so many Puerto Rican folks in our community who must be concerned about family, Aaliyah. Kara, that's right, so many. And I did speak with a couple people today, and honestly, they've been trying to get in contact with their family, and it's just very difficult because there's a lot of power outages right now on the island. And the uh, category, or Ernesto is a category one, and it's just right north of Puerto Rico. The National Weather Service has warned that the territory will continue to experience heavy rain and strong winds. And Connecticut has a large Puerto Rican population and many are worried about their loved ones on the island. Uh, part of my family is on the beach in Mayagüe, a place called El Mani. And they always, in some areas they get flooded, but they're, they're flooding at times. So I got to call them and see how they're doing. Rodriguez goes on to share he's tried to get in contact with his family, but due to the outages, he's had so much difficulty. Back in 2018, he spent 42 days on the island alongside other residents from the state to offer for relief to those impacted by Maria. Now, coming up at 5, we're going to take a deeper look into families who are trying to get in contact with those in Puerto Rico. And also, we're going to take a look into how the Puerto Rican Day Parade may be changing because of the hurricane. For now, live in Hartford, Aaliyah Red, Channel 3 eyewitness news.